Hey, is um, is this thing on? Yeah. Uh, okay. Good. Uh, I I know Vipak, you usually do your introductions by now, but I need to interrupt just briefly. I am here in Gorilla. I will see you soon enough. Um, I just wanted to talk about some of the comments that General Manager Colson made in regards to the Nathan explosion attack on Zeus Alexander after Prestige. Now. Here's the reason why we sent those letters to Colson himself. And that's because Nathan Explosion absolutely refused to get back with us on jumping over to WFS just temporarily for a one-off match. That is the whole reason. We had to pretty much subpoena UCWL. Now, again, I'm, I'm here alone because I'm supposed to be here doing commentary, but I also was sent here from Jimmy Kuda to relay this message. Colson, you want to avoid a lawsuit? We want to avoid a lawsuit? How about you and Nathan Explosion come down to the Staples Center with us and we can talk it over? I hope to hear your answer by the end of the night. Thank you for your time. Well, ladies and gentlemen, virtual wrestling fans worldwide, we are live here in Richmond, Virginia, as we welcome you to episode 26 of UCWL Showdown. Of course, I am the voice of the Universal Championship Wrestling League, VPOC, here, and I'll soon be joined by both MTB, the HKK, who apparently had to take a phone call before the start of the show, and Mr. SRH. And right now, we're going to head up to Shao Curtis for the introduction to our opening contest, a qualifier for the Elimination Chamber at Active Valor. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your opening contest for this evening. It is an Elimination Chamber qualifying match for Active Valor, and it is set for one fall. Introducing first, from Tampa, Florida, Nathan Explosion! And listen to the chorus of boos that Nathan Explosion is getting. A lot of people are not happy to see him after he got his suspension lifted, courtesy of the UCWL Board of Directors. I know Mr. SRH is probably not happy to see him back in the ring, but nonetheless, they decided to give him this qualifying match for the Elimination Chamber at Active Valor. We're going to see if he can actually qualify for this matchup. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Nathan Explosion's opponent. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, Nathan Explosion has no idea who his opponent is, and neither do I. Apparently, this was selected by General Manager Coulson. Who's it gonna be? Whoa, 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 what? Wait a minute! Wait just a minute! Oh my god! From all worlds, he is humanity's strongest soldier, Levi Ackerman! Holy crap, Levi Ackerman! He's back! We, we haven't seen Levi since Cold Day in Hell! Since they, that, that's right, Nathan Explosion broke his jaw during that matchup the two had back in Cold Day in Hell! And Levi hasn't been seen since! 
until now. And you can tell Levi Ackerman, he's got some unfinished business to settle with Nathan Explosion. What a, what a good choice here by general manager Phil Coulson. Levi Ackerman now has a chance to get some payback after being put on the shelf for months by Nathan Explosion in this Elimination Chamber qualifier for Active Valor. And there's the bell, and it uh, looks like, I believe Mr. SRH is finally starting to join us. Uh. <laughs> oh, look, it's the guy who's avoiding phone calls. Avoiding every bit of notoriety from WFS. Oh, look, it's Nathan Explosion, the man who breached his contract in VWU. And his manager wants to try to fight against it, but he signed the freaking thing as well. But okay. But okay. But, uh, I, yeah, I know you're clearly upset about that. That's all right. Oh, you, you just mentioned, but. Upset. Look, but. Also, look who he's in the ring with. I, I, I see uh, Levi. Um... It's. Yeah, Levi Ackerman's back. Yeah. And what an opportunity he has. He can qualify for the Elimination Chamber here tonight. I, I mean, yeah. I, I, I mean, this, this would be a good comeback story. Beat the man that pretty much sidelined him for, what, months on end? Yeah, several months. I, I, I mean, imagine him going into that Elimination Chamber. Winning and then going on. Wait, the, the winner takes on the champ. After, yes. Uh, so, yeah, the winner will face whoever is the UCWL champion after Act of Valor. So, I mean, ima imagine Levi going into this, winning, then going into that limit, winning, and then taking on someone like, say, the Green Arrow. Oh! But that I would, must have. That would be an awesome. That would be an awesome match, though. But here, I can, Levi goes for the cover here. One. No. Only a one count after that variation of the Bloody Sunday made famous by Finn Balor during his days as Prince Devitt. Hashtag for Devitt. Oh! Stomped in the arm. Of course, yeah, Levi obviously has a lot of pent-up frustration after what Nathan Explosion did to him back a cold day in hell. I'm, I'm sure if he could, he'd be talking a lot of trash, but I mean his job Oh, God! Started. And Nathan... STO takedown, but he only gets a one count. Of course, I think the last person Nathan Explosion expected to see come through that curtain was Levi Ackerman. Oh, I'm sure the last person he... I, I think the last person he would expect to see is somebody with... The oh, wait, 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 wait! Oh, the hammer! The hammer from Nathan Explosion! One, two... And only a two count... Yeah, it was that hammer forearm strike that actually broke Levi Ackerman's jaw in the first place. Levi with a DDT. And Nathan with the reversal. And now, oh, Parish Whip off the ropes. No! Jawbreaker reversal. Oh, look at this! Another very another bloody Sunday there from Levi Ackerman. Now let's Levi. Neck breaker. Swinging neck breaker there from Levi taking down Nathan Explosion. He's on the middle rope now, driving the forearm into the forehead. Well, let's. Fireman's carry there from Nathan Explosion. Of course, I, I mean, I, I'm still shocked that Nathan's even in this match, considering he did lose that match to Green Arrow a few weeks ago. Oh, seeing that he can't get a shot at the belt as long as Green Arrow's champion. But I guess that doesn't mean he can't 
enter for, to qualify for that title because we don't even know if Green Arrow's going to st still be the champion after Active Valor. Yeah, that's something that uh, that I don't think Colson really kind of saw through, did he? Well, he said that Nathan Explosion could not get another shot. What if Nathan Explosion wins this match and then wins the proceeding Elimination Chamber match? And what if, just if, a happenstance, that Green Arrow is still the champ? Well, then we have one hell of a conundrum. But right now, Levi Ackerman's back in control. Pump handle, gut buster. Here's the cover. Whoa. Oh. No. Yeah, referee Brett Chan completely out of position on that pinfall. <laughs> yeah. Oh, kick to the small of the back. And of course, being a man like like Levi, I mean, he, he is used to taking on... Oh, wait, Brett look at this. Another hammer! Oh, oh and Nathan could be going for the Metalocalypse. No, oh, look at this, Levi. Levi had it scouted. Turns into a suplex. And I love this Levi. Northern oh. Lights. Oh! Wait. We haven't Both seen strength. this in a long time. He calls this the Ackerman Special. I was going to say, Ackerman has uh, had a history of taking on Gargantuans. If you watch Attack on a Titan, I mean, more power to you. I ain't a fan, but I can respect this man. Or the fact yeah, that after, he, yeah, well, guy taking on big challenges. Oh, and oh. nice counter there from Nathan. One. And no. again, a one count. Yeah, like I said, Levi noticed humanity's strongest soldier. He didn't get, he got that nickname for a reason. Let's Levi. Knee to the face there, and Nathan explosion. Oh. Boy, Nathan. This. Levi trying to wiggle his way out of it, and he does. Oh. Nathan explosion, that man who wants to contend for the world championship, stalled a bit too long. Oh no. Ooh, ooh. Figure four right here being applied. And Levi getting out of that predicament right there. Yeah, but Levi able to quickly escape. Not sure how much damage was done to the legs, though. Hello, this Levi's going to the top rope. Are we going to see? Are we going to see what I think we're going to see? There it is! 3D Maneuver! The 3D Maneuver! One, two! Ah! Oh, two and three quarters. And a... Uh, Moonsault off the springboard. Springboard Moonsault there. And now look at this. Levi. Another. Yes. Ackerman special. Oh. Levi Ackerman. Like I said, he's been sitting on the sidelines for several months. Probably waiting for this very moment to get back in the ring and get his hands on Nathan Explosion. Probably seething because that's all he could really do up until he was cleared to train. Now let's Levi on the top rope. Here we go. Oh, this time Nathan moved out of the way. Nathan explosion avoiding the 3D maneuver. And now look at this the lack of respect here from Nathan. Well, do you expect anything less from that man? Probably not. Neck break out. Yeah, nice move there from Levi. Goes for the cover again. One, two, and a two count. Oh. Ball breaks the side of Levi's gut and try to fire back. And a huge close line from Levi. Levi now on the middle rope. Drives the forearm into the forehead. Oh. We're going to see a third one. Yes, we yep. are. Yes, sir. Ackerman special. 
Well, let's go, Nathan. Counters with the arm drag. Into the gut. Woo! Nice. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. That was just a message from D-Wall. Apparently, he uh, made a new match for uh, Infinite. Oh. oh, goody. I thought you might like to hear about it. Nonetheless, Levi going for the cover. Leg is hooked, shoulders down. No. And it involves our good friend, our good friend here, Nathan Explosion. Oh, yes. The all right, all right. Who? He's oh, a wait, look at this. Nathan. Oh! Metalocalypse. Metalocalypse from Nathan Explosion. Will that be it? There's the cover on Levi. Is Levi's oh, return going to be spoiled? No. Not yet. But Nathan's night might be spoiled when he hears about this. Well, let's get it locked. Nathan Explosion at Infinite will go one on one with Duncan Vermil. Oh, God. <laughs> I thought you might like that news, SRH. <laughs> Look at this, though. Oklahoma Stampede from Nathan oh. Explosion. You know, there are a few things in life that are certain. Death taxes and Duncan is Duncan. I I I pray. Uh -huh. I pray. Levi now. Oh! Greedy maneuver. Will him get this time? No. no. I, I, Levi I Ackerman almost. Levi Ackerman almost qualified for the elimination chamber right there. I, I think I think your ref is broken. I think. Uh, Levi just repeatedly slamming Nathan's face into the turnbuckles. And now measuring yeah, like Nathan. Nathan slammed uh, Alexander's face in the car window, right? Probably. Uh, you know what they say about car, right? Yes, I do. Nathan! Oh! Another hammer! To the back of the head of Levi Ackerman. Oh, God. Nathan picking apart Levi's limbs here. Oh, now we're oh, on. Backdrop oh. suplex. Oh, Nathan could be going for it. Nathan explosion setting up Levi. Another Metalocalypse! Here's the cover! One! Oh it went, oh. What the? What the hell? Sorry. That's Seuss Alexander's music! What, what the hell's going on, SRH? The Wanderer has wandered his way to UCWL! Well, oh, at least we thought so. Nathan got temporarily distracted! And allowed oh. Levi to regain his senses! Levi, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, the Ackerman special. Ackerman special! And now Levi's going to the top rope! 3D maneuver! The cover! One! Two! He got him! Levi Ackerman! Not only returned here tonight, but got some payback on Nathan Explosion and advances to the Elimination Chamber at Act of Valor in the process. SRH, you have a big smile on your face. Do I look a little like the Joker right now? Because I do feel a little bit happy. Not only did Nathan Explosion lose to Levi Ackerman offer distraction from the music of Zeus Alexander, but now he has to fight Duncan in a few days! <laughs> I would not want to be Nathan Explosion right now. Oh, definitely, especially considering the fact that on top of that, he's also facing a lawsuit.
Congratulations. Welcome back to UCWR Levi Ackerman. I, I never thought I'd have to hear that still food as hell announcer. Well, ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. The night's just getting started. We'll be right back with some more action. Tried to blame me, but you never paid me, never Oh no, you didn't Payback is it coming, you will be running forever Oh no, you didn't Until I get my vengeance, I will never end this mayhem Oh no, you didn't I'm a mercenary, you ain't got a prayer, you owe me Oh no, you didn't 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 You try to trap me, then you bust a cap in my ass Oh no you didn't Such humiliation will bring annihilation at last Oh no you didn't It will be delicious when I get vicious tomorrow Oh no you didn't There's no second chances, you will do the dance of sorrow
This next contest is a tag team match and is set for one fall. Introducing team number one, the team of Christopher Baffert Blair and Todd Maniac Marshall, the Wing Commanders. Well, we're, we're back to episode WL 20. WCWL World of Champion Keith Apicary. Yeah, yeah. Why does that sound like it has such a good week? It sounds better than UCWL Champion Layard. But yeah, I'm not sure if Keith Abercary is aware that the belt's on the line in his match tonight. But hey, in any you know case, what? that might make him that might make him compete at a better capacity than he's ever competed before. Yeah, well, and that's the mindset any wrestler should have. They should compete like the world titles on the line. Number two, the team of Leonard Snot and Big Rory, the Rose. As we're getting set for tag team action, here comes the Rogues. Leonard Snart, otherwise known as Captain Cold, and Mick Rory, known as Heat Wave. And I, I gotta admit, guys, that despite that one loss that they had back at Cold Day in Hell, the Rogues have pretty much gone on beat. And now tonight they're set to go one on one with the Wing Commanders. As we get set for some tag team action here on episode 26 of Showdown. Well, yeah, speaking of the Rogues. I got to talk to them backstage before the show, VPOC, and they apparently have interest in showing up at Infinite as well. Oh, really? Yes, and I think I have just the opponents for them. I can't promise them a spot on Infinite, but I can on the pre-show, which is still pretty open. All right. <laughs> right now, Leonard, oh! starts, right. Leonard starts starting things off here with uh, Christopher Blair. Or Christopher Maverick Blair. That's right. So I think it's only appropriate that they take on, oh, I don't know, the former TPGW Tag Team Champions and winners at Prestige, Johnny Mike and Stray Meeks. Oh, that would be interesting to see. Them. Oh! Ooh. Huge flying fist there from from Blair. Head up. Oh, brain bust in there. I'm sorry. Brain bust yeah, yeah, Zahai is not here tonight, so we don't have to worry about that. Oh! Grenade the Buster! Yeah, but his lips yeah. resonate amongst the UCWL corridors. Oh, look at this. Tag is made. Neckbreaker! Neckbreaker! And Heat Wave hitting the neckbreaker on. Neckbreaker! Okay, enough with the neckbreaker, okay? Neckbreaker! Okay. He waved now on the neck, middle neck, rope. Neck, 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 Oh, and he wave off the middle rope, crowding it with the Just axe crowd. handle smash. Just cover him. It's over. Shinbreaker falls it up. Yeah. The king's crown. No, he, that's all he needs to do. The fact that he you know, applied maneuvers onto Blair is absolutely upsetting. Oh. Blair now makes the tag. Uh, not no. Blair's gonna. Uh. Well, now Blair makes the tag. <laughs> there we go. Blair tagging in his tag team partner, Todd Maniac Marshall. Oh. Oh. <gasps> and look at that. Yeah, heat waves. Oh, yeah, I think SRH may have felt that. Here comes Captain Cold back in. If you even have a pair down there, you felt that. Guess it goes to show that Peapock did not. 
I'm trying to call the action here, SRH. Nonetheless, look at this. Oh, snap suplex to Captain Cold. One, no. Yeah, float over into a cover, but only gets a one count. And right now, Marshall. There. Yeah, Todd Marshall wrenching on the neck of Leonard Snart. Of course, v Pac, we can't forget that the women are also the women of UCW and TPGW are also going to have opportunities at Infinite as well. And that eight women yeah. battle royal to decide who challenges Jennifer Cruel at TPGW Olympus for the Diamonds World Championship. That's right, a UCWL competitor could have the opportunity. I believe you. It's Winona Earp, Bindi Irwin, Captain Marvel, and Faith Connors representing UCWL in that match. Isn't that right? Yes. And then, of course, Tia Benson, Samantha Hart, Winter Rain, and Mystic Angel. And a DDT on top of it. Five cents. Oh, Miss Mystic Angel, you mean the girl you're obsessed with? That's the guy who's obsessed with Bo Dennis. Anyways, Maverick gets tagged in. Although, to be fair to Bo Dennis, she is going to be challenging for the Call All-Stars Women's Championship on that show. Yes, she is. She's going to be facing Elizabeth Pariza for that title. And now look at this. Blair! Oh. Suplex on the heat wave. Elizabeth Pariza is, of course, an active member of the TPGW roster, so... And back suplex. And, and I've just been informed, apparently, the winner of that match, uh, the winner of the Prisa Bo Dennis match, will get a lot to defend the Call Stars women's title inside of the Elimination Chamber at Call Stars 10. That is interesting. Which, by the way, uh, I, I, Colson told me that apparently UCWL is going to be involved with Call Stars 10. I'm not exactly sure how yet. But well, hopefully we'll get some more information on that in the weeks to come. Look at this now, Blair! No! Oh! Nice spine the buster the there. Now look at this, Blair. Sending Heat Wave into the corner. Tag is That's made great. to Todd Marshall. Wait, what are the what is Oh! oh! That that's that's their finisher. I don't have a name for it! Here's the cover! One! Oh, and look at that, oh. Snart. Snart took out the referee, making sure. Well, speaking of Call All Stars 10, in, cele in celebration of six years of TPGW, we'll be featuring the first ever TPGW match at Call All Stars 10. A rematch, Matt Farrell versus Soul Reaper. Well, look at that now, right now, Marshall. Oh! oh! Huge Wrong frog splash. Play. Yeah, Blair and Marshall. I mean, don't That's underestimate the them. I know SRH is excited for that Call Stars match, and this crowd is absolutely going nuts for this match tonight. That mayor take over, and a knee right to the back. Tag is made. Here comes, uh, here comes Captain Cold. Snart now on the top. What's he going to do here? Elbow drop. No, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. oh. yeah. Power bomb there. Yeah, it looked like Marshall was going to try a Hurricane Rana, and Captain Cold countered it. And, you know, speaking of Call of 10 and that uh, Women's Elimination Chamber match, can we oh. also acknowledge that in that chamber includes Mercedes, Roxanne Quinn, Harley Quinn, Bindi Irwin and Carmen Cortez. Yeah, it's pretty, it's, it, it, it's going to be pretty intense. It's Four. a stacked deck in that chamber. Oh! oh. Meanwhile, oh. Captain Cole with that a chop block. Tag is made. Here comes Heat Wave. Oh, what is this here? Oh, look at this! They call that the Grand Heist! The Grand Heist on a Todd Marshall! And Blair breaks up the count. Great great tag team etiquette by, uh, by the Rogues here. Real great. Yeah, look at that though. Yeah, Blair interrupted the pinfall, but he took a dragon suplex. He paid for that one big time. Now this. Again, 
axe handle off the metal rope there by Heat Wave. Just pin him. He is done. Oh, wave looks now. like I'm getting another phone call from D Wall. I'll be right back. I swear to God, if anybody shows up in his place, I want to take that phone away from him. Well, I mean, what if it's D Wall that comes in in his place? Olympic With the Slam! Or Galactic Slam. That could be a Galactic oh, Slam. I, I don't know what to call that. Oh, Ducks under. Kick! Super kick there from Todd Marshall. Oh, and what a clothesline. Corner oh, tag is made. That. Here comes Blair. Here we go again. Oh. Still don't have a name for that. Here's the cover. Referee try, too busy trying to get Todd Marshall out of the ring, and it allows Captain Cole to break up the pinfall. Dear Phil Coulson, hire a better ref. AJ Monahan is highly recommended. He's like a broken Xbox. He don't play no games. Love, Mr. SRH. Let's heat wave go over the cover here. One, no. Only a one count. And, and he oh, follows it up with a DDT. Heat wave now. Look at this fireman's carry. What's he got planned here? No, no. Oh. Nice counter there from from Christopher Blair. And now he's setting up north. Missed the moon salt. Arm drag reversal from Blair. And... Oh well. Look at Whoa. this. Oh, oh, knee to the top of the head. Oof. Falls it up with a uh, corkscrew neck breaker. Or, hey, a hey, hey, hey. or a moonlight drive. And now. Wait, what is this? The Maverick. Look yes. at this. Blair looked like some kind of inverted figure four. That is called the Maverick block. You're on culture swine. And the spine buster. We're not a hundred percent sure if he actually calls it that, but I'm calling it that. And if he oh, wants to make some decent money, he's gonna call it that too. Tag is made. Todd Marshall. Don't Here we go. Genius. Oh. And again with this move. We need to come up with a name for it. Here's the cover. One. And again. Captain Cole breaks up the pitfall by taking out referee Brett Chan. I'm telling you, AJ Monahan, just a phone call away. Don't make your league better. Oh, I need the gut there by by Heat Wave, and now Heat Waving. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh God, oh God, curb stomping him, something serious. And Captain Cole just took out Christopher Blair. What's and oh. <laughs> Fireman's oh. carry to a backbreaker. Boy. Lewis, though, Todd Marshall trying to fight back here. Running uppercut. Yeah. And Marshall. Oh, Lord, that went for a middle roll Phoenix splash. Completely oh. missed it out. Heat wave measuring. Todd Marshall! Go, Breaker! Double knee face buster. Of course, the code breaker made famous by Chris Jericho. Here's the cover. One. And this time, Blair breaks up the pinfall. Both these teams trying to jockey for position here in the tag team division. Oh, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. He has got his feet on the ropes. And. Oh, well, that was, uh, that was interesting. Whip it to the corner. He waved. Oh, yes, kicked. Well, that's no heat wave, though. Sending Todd Mar Oh, Marshall fighting out of the corner now. 
backdrop oh. suplex. Blair's still down on the ring, uh, still down on the uh, ringside area. Oh, That's huge uppercut right there. there. Tag is Tag made. Is Here made. comes Snart. Leonard Snart now. Going to the top rope. Snart off the top. Elbow drop. Ooh. Here's the cover. One, two. two. And this one's over. Hard fought battle between both teams, but in the end, it was the Rogues that emerged victorious. You gotta think that with uh, an impressive match such as this, that uh, a UCW Tag Team Championship bout is just a matter of when, not if. I mean, you, you, gotta, you gotta admit, there. I mean, they've been undefeated. Oh. Yeah, the I'm sure it's only a matter of time before the Rogues actually get in line for a shot at the tag titles. Here are your winners, the team of Leonard Snart and Nick Rory, the Rogues. Again, impressive win there by the Rogues. Will they get a shot at the tag titles? Sometime down the line, only time will tell. But don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back. Okay, motherfuckers, I'm multi-time champion Mason Chronic, and I'm here to talk to you about some fucking anime. Are you a fan of Dragon Ball Super? We got that shit. One Piece? You already fucking know. Naruto? Overlord? Fuck. We even have an anime about two lesbian stepsisters if you're into that shit. 
Here at Crunchyroll, we offer a wide variety of anime for all you fucking weirdos for free. But you can also subscribe to our premium package for only $6.95 a month. The fuck do you mean this is an ECF commercial? The fuck's an ECF? <laughs> Kamikaze, the, the Cruiser X Division champion, and. Uh, oh, that's Batsu Ichimanji! The man he's supposed to defend the title against! An act of valor! Oh. What the Batsu, hell is going on? Batsu uh, prevented Yaiba from attacking him last week, and now Yaiba's assaulting him and catering! Oh god, oh god, oh god! Alright, well, let's go, Batsu! Alright, let's box it. Oh, wait, 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 what's he doing here? Oh, GTS! GTFS! Oh, Dear God, God. and now. Botsu! Oh, Yaima's out cold! Good! Unbelievable! Botsu Ijimanji may actually have Yaima Kamikaze's number! Oh. In any case, ladies and gentlemen, as you all know, we have currently an ongoing tournament to crown the first ever UCW Women's Champion. And on the last episode of that tournament, we had a very particular incident that involved a demonic force known as Asherah. And we're about to show you what happened at the end of episode four of, of the Women's Championship Tournament. What what the hell is that? What? Oh my god, I know who that is. Who was that? If I'm what, not mistaken, that's the Vora. Who was that? Oh. That's all right, who'd you say that was? I think that's the Vora. Oh my I'm, god, I'm killer instinct. That that is oh. It's the Vora from, from Mortal Kombat! I thought she was from Killer Instinct. No, oh, from she, oh, oh my god! From MKX! Oh, no. oh, what the hell now is that? What is it? Remember the... Oh, Bindi god! Was, Bindi was, they, they did the same thing after Bindi's match was quiet and unbound! Remember, Man. Bindi was found unconscious afterwards! Wait, was, was the four the one responsible? If not, I'm going to be concerned about who is. Oh my god, she is squeezing the life out of Pindy Irwin right <laughs> now. What's going on with the women's division, man? I don't have any idea. <laughs> I got a bigger question. Where is S.H.I.E.L.D.? Get, get your hands on this, man. God. Coulson, look at this. Oh god. Oh, god. Well, ladies and gentlemen...
truly shocking Devora revealing herself as a member of Ashura. And I've been told that Miss Kendall Morgan is actually going to address the situation before the fifth episode of the Women's Championship Tournament. And because of this particular incident, though, we did not get a chance to run down the quarterfinals, which we're about to do right now. So in any case, in match number one of the quarterfinals of the Women's Championship Tournament, it's going to be Faith Connors going one-on-one -on -one with Sakura Kasagano. Faith, of course, defeated Ivy Valentine in round one. Sakura defeated Shine. And now these two are going to face off to determine who gets a spot in the semifinals. Match number two in the quarterfinals is going to be a clash between Marvel and DC as Starfire goes one-on-one -on -one with Daisy Quake Johnson. That should be a very fun match, Mr. S.R. Oh, I can't wait for that one. It definitely gonna, it's definitely a tough one to call. Match number three is kind of a grudge match stemming from all the way back in episode 18 as Pan goes one-on-one -on -one with Bo Dennis. Pan has been wanting a rematch with Bo Dennis very, very badly and has actually taken to the UCWL Facebook page to address her frustrations about Bo Dennis. And she's going to get her hands on her in the quarterfinals. And finally, the fourth match of the quarterfinals is going to be Kim Wu going one-on-one -on -one with Captain Marvel. Huge test for Kim Wu. We're going to see if yeah, her skills... Yeah, you want to talk about a tough one to call. This is definitely one to consider being a tough one to call. Kim Wu was very impressive in her match. Yeah, she was. Well, in any case, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, it's going to be Light Yagami going one-on-one -on -one with Keith Abacary. And, and as much as Keith Abacary believes it, the UCWL Championship is not going to be on the line in this matchup, but it should be a hell of a match between these two anyway. It's a rematch from Unbound, and it's next when we return.
this next contest is set for one fall. Introducing first, from the Kanto region of Japan, Light Yagami! Well, there's the man that stole the... Stole the UC... I'll say it straight up, he is a thief. He is an absolute dirty thief, and Phil Coulson is not doing his job in making sure and procuring that belt. That's what I gotta say about this situation. Well... Mr. SRH, you heard what Colson said. He said Green Arrow wants to take care of this himself. Screw so. Green Arrow. Even more so for allowing that belt to slip from his fingers. Well, in any, any case, Light Yagami set for action. And the latest season sucks. Yeah, in any case, Light Yagami set for action here tonight. We're having a rematch from Unbound. And of course, we'll address what happened before this match in just moments. But there you see, yeah, Light Yagami in physical possession of the UCWL Championship, even though he's not the rightful champion. Well, Light Yagami will have a chance to prove he's at least worthy of competing for that championship when he faces Smokey at the TPGW UCWL Infinite Show. And his opponent from Moonsocket, Rhode Island, now here's a man who actually sort of kind of deserves a shot at the UCWL World Championship. He deserves it more so than that freaking Light Yagami that stole the belt. Well, Keith Avakari does believe this is for the UCWL Championship, even though uh, even though I think nobody told him Light Yagami's not the rightful champion. Who cares? He's going to wrestle like the world title's on the line, which is important. Every wrestler should do that. Even if the belt's not on the line, wrestle like it is. Something that you should consider, Deepa. Maybe you'll win a match for once. Ignoring that comment as we get ready for... Uh... Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Light Yagami going one on one with Keith Avakari. A rematch from Unbound, in which Keith Avakari was actually victorious. And Keith is going to go 2 0 against Light. I promise that. I promise that. Look at that. No. Snap suplex there from Keith. Float over into a cover one. No. Only a one count there from Avakari. Now, of course, if Keith does knock off Light, that could put him in the run for the UCWL Championship. It should. Oh! Ringboard frog splash there by Keith Abacary. Oh, no, misses the kick, though. Light Yagami now. Oh, look at this. Oh, angle slam. You dirty thief. You have no right using that move. Angle. Angle. Oh, neck breaker. Neck breaker. Neck breaker. Oh, look at that though. Not even a one count there by Light Yagami. Oh, that's that's because that's because Keith has the infinite rings of power. Oh, oh Keith they have a carry fighting back now. Oh nice, nice hurricane rana there. 
Have a carry. He's on the middle rope. Now let's not also forget, guys. Actually, Light Yagami did a last eliminate. Oh, DDT! Yeah, he did last eliminate Keith Abacarry in that Battle Royal to be to face Green Arrow for the uh, UCWL Championship at Prestige. And oh, oh, oh nice That's right hand there. Abacarry now going to work on Light on the outside. Although I can kind of feel, I can kind of understand how Light would feel being robbed of a one-on-one -on -one opportunity, considering he, considering the Kenny Omega got involved. Oh yeah, that's that's pretty much what's caused this uh, whole situation with uh, Light Yagami, Green Arrow, and the UCWL Championship. Oh! You can see Have a carry, him. taking advantage, slamming. Well, Keep that's that, what happens um, when a man believes. I guess that's the intensity you have when uh, you believe you're competing oh. for the UCWL Championship. We got hard time, Daddy. Speaking of which, a lot of uh, interpromotional oh, tag. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, God. Keith, Keith Abbott carries on the top rope. Take a side. The that be it. On the line, Yagami. And, me. and oh, no. Two count. Close but no cigar, Keith Abacary. But VPOC, we have to point out that at Infinite, there will be m multiple matchups into which not only TPGW titles will be on the line, but also UCWL titles will be on the line in interpromotional matchups. Yeah, that's right. Adonis Creed facing Frost for the Cruiserweight Championship at TPGW. And of course, the winner take all Matt Farrow versus Monkey D. Luffy match. Luffy could be signed to TPGW by the end of Infinite. I know, I know that's something you'd like, MTV. And I think, and something tells me you'd like Matt Farrow signed to UCWL. Oh, close line. Which is probably what's going to happen anyway, but nonetheless. Uh, all right, well, we're not getting into that match right now. We got a match right now between Light Yagami and Keith Abacary going on, and Light's in control. Blood that's pouring from Light Yagami's thievely head. That's right, yeah, I think one of the... No, that's a problem. Yeah, one of the bionic elbows uh, cut Light Yagami on the forehead. But Yagami, look at this. The death note. Light Yagami with the death note. This could do it right here. Kick out, Keith. One, two, and no. The death two. What were you going to say, MTV? The death note didn't get the job done that time. And only a two count and light off the middle rope with the forearm. That's because light probably stole the death note. I don't like him right now. Apparently, oh. in some ways, he did. Let's keep that a carry. Backdrop suplex there. Oh, nope, kick is blocked. Reversal. Dragon screw leg whip there by Light Yagami as he taunts to the crowd. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Of course, Light Yagami will challenge Green Arrow for the UCWL Championship at Act of Valor. Indeed, and now. It's Nightmare Takeover. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's Keith doing here? Ow. 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 Ow, no, for a lot of, oh, Jesus almighty. I've probably seen them. And now Light in, in a lot of, in a lot of trouble here. Oh, look at that, the Light though, kick to the top of the head there of Keith Abacary. Light though. Being sent. Keith setting him on the top rope. Got something planned here. Oh no! Light blocks it on the top rope! Cross body! Cross body block onto Keith Abacary. And now Light measuring Keith Abacary for a second death note. Good God in heaven. I think this one's over. One, two, and it is. Look at that, Light Yagami. 
Well, he proved he can beat Keith Abacary. Now he has yeah, to prove like, he can beat the Green Arrow. Yeah, Light Yagami avenging his loss from Unbound. Yeah, but you know, take nothing away from Keith Abacary. He showed more intensity in this match than he ever has. Here is your winner, Light Yagami! And Light Yagami... ...building some momentum for his, uh... ...for his UCWL Championship match against... ...against the champion, the Green Arrow. I wonder if Green Arrow's watching this somewhere, guys. Indeed. But nonetheless, Light Yagami victorious tonight on UCWL Showdown. Oh, wait, wait, what's going on now? Oh, come on! Light Yagami, he won the match, and now he's assaulting Keith Abacary again. Oh, come on! Light. Oh, where's the uh, cleanup crew, huh? Hey, Colson, why don't you make a phone call to get people here to break this up? Do your job. Light Yagami. Oh, come oh, God, no. Oh, come on. Enough is enough. DDT. Ah. Roll Pong DDT on the Keith Abacare. Oh, God, now he's heading to the outside. Oh god, now he's got the championship belt! Oh Jesus! Right into the face of Keith Abacary. This is unbelievable. Light Yagami just showing how low he's gonna go here. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait a minute! Green Arrow! Green Arrow coming in through the crowd, Light Yagami! Trying to hightail it out of here! But look at this, Green Arrow's in pursuit! He's chasing him down! Green Arrow, Arrow trying to go after Light Yagami! Do we have any cameras backstage? Can we get some cameras backstage? There you go, there's Light! He's headed for the parking lot! Arrow. Green Arrow trying to go after him! Oh, well, like hopping into that that car, get, trying to get the hell out of out of here. Wait, wait, he's chasing him.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're Can back on showdown. Can please break his jaw? Like, that's all I ask. I would drop the lawsuit if Nathan Explosion broke his jaw. Well, I think it's our main event is coming up next, ladies and gentlemen. But we want to take you back right now to episode, the ending of episode 24. The, the controversy surrounding the ending of the Cyberspace Championship match between Monkey D. Luffy and Kyo Kuzanagi. And both... And what I've been told, General Manager Phil Coulson is going to address that situation in just a moment before our main event. Let's take you back and show you what happened. What is he? What is he doing? Luffy, oh wait, oh wait, Luffy, what are you doing, Luffy? Oh wait, no, no, no Luffy, no, no, Luffy, no, 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 no. oh. Oh my Monkey God! Luffy off the top rope, huge splash through the Dutch announce table. Oh my God! Both men are down. They're not moving. And what the? Uh, oh my God! They didn't, they didn't carry out, I think. Yeah, that, that's what the rep is saying. And now, General Manager Phil Coulson to address that situation. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It is now official. What a match that's going to be an act of valor. And right now, we want to thank, we want to send a shout out to We Came as Romans for the song Cold Like War, which is the official theme song of Act of Valor, available on iTunes and wherever music sold. And it's just been announced Monkey D. Luffy will defend the UCWL Cyberspace Championship against Kyo Kuzanagi one more time. And this time, there must be a winner. Who knows and what's going I hope that. that there actually is one. Also, the, the UCWL Cruiser Exhibition Championship is going to be on the line. The champion, Yaiba Kamikaze, defense against Batsu Ichimanji. Earlier tonight, Batsu laid out Yaiba with a GTS, laying out the champion out cold. Does Batsu have Yaiba's number? We're going to find out when these two clash at Act of Valor. Also, the tag team titles will be on the line. The champions, the Big Bang Theory, Leonard and Sheldon will defend the titles against Rocksteady and Bebop. Will will the Big Bang Theory show up on episode 27? We're gonna we're gonna find out what happens. And of course, the main of of course one of the big matches of Active Valor for the UCWL Championship. Green Arrow defends against Light Yagami. Light currently has. The physical championship belt, Green Arrow's the recognized champion. What's going to happen when these two clash in Orlando, Florida? And of course, though, ladies and gentlemen, in just moments, we're going to find out who the final entrant into the Elimination Chamber and Active Valor is going to be. I know Mr. SRH is excited for this match. Uh, yeah, I'm more or less excited for the idea that Jeff Powers. 
you know, one-handed goal. Well, P.S. Bauer is heading into this matchup. We don't know who his opponent is. We're going to find out right now. Ladies and gentlemen, this next contest is your main event of the evening. It is the final Elimination Chamber qualifying match for Active Valor and is set for one fall. Well, gentlemen, here he comes. Introducing first, from YouTube, P.S. Power. I like how this guy is getting no reaction from the crowd. Either that or they're just booing him. No, he's literally, and no one's even bothering to chant. Uh, I think I see a lot of people going to get nachos right now. Well, of course, now, gentlemen, the question is, who is PS Power's opponent going to be? Of course, we I... already know, we already know five of the six competitors inside the Elimination Chamber at Active Valor. Honestly, I, 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 honestly, I honestly don't think it matters. One, there are already people like booking it. And two, because it's PS Power in the ring right now. And now, ladies and gentlemen, PS Power's opponent. Well, we're about to find out who it is. Who's it gonna be, guys? Wait, what? Excuse me? No way! No friggin' way! Is it, is it really him? Oh my god, it is him! Holy shit! Big Bob, watch your mouth. Great. He's back! SRH, we haven't seen Naruto since... Since the... Since the head-to-head -head special with DCA! Actually, since Prestige. He hasn't competed in a UCW ring since the DC-8 Super Show, though! Jesus Christ! Well, this is... definitely... a shocker. I don't think anybody wants to beat the traffic now! Naruto's back! Ah, look at this. So it's either going to be Naruto or PS Power. So it's going to be Naruto. Naruto. <laughs> I like well, how we both said that. I, I I don't want you to say don't count out PS Power. I'm, I've counted him out since... Well, look at this. Naruto. No, Naruto. I mean, he definitely seems more confident in the ring than he did the last time we saw him in a UCWL ring. Believe it. Yeah, remember, remember guys, Naruto hasn't actually had a good win-loss record here. Dante Bayo. I don't know what the hell that means, MTV. Apparently people in America think it means believe it. Oh, that's Naruto rolling. Stop me with a kick. Jesus. Naruto now. Measuring PS power. He's got him up. Reset God. The cover. One, two, two. And no. What? Somehow PS Power kicked out a two. This man has the ability to kick out. Apparently so. 
Somehow, I, I think somebody is uh, cheating here. PS Power now. Statner taking who gave, over who gave, now. I'm sorry, but who gave PS Power steroids? He does look a little I don't bulked. Know. He does look a little bit bulked up, doesn't he, SRA? Yeah. Colson, no. you guys can explain what to do. PS Power now sending Naruto to the ropes though with a huge boot. Seriously, who gave PS Power steroids? And now I blame Zahaya. PS Power now. Spinebuster to Naruto. Since when could PS Power spinebuster anybody? And now PS Power. Oh no, PS Power! Rock bottom! That man does not have the right to do a rock bottom. And now the cover on Naruto. One, two, no! Naruto kicks out at two. I would have literally He's walked out of UCW well. And never come back. These fans, though, they're, they're kind of in shock. I don't think they expected to see Naruto here tonight. I don't think they expected this much of a fight from PS Power. I don't think they expected PS Power to be in the main event, Colson. That too. Oh, look at this, though. Kick to the kick there by PS Power. Cross body oh, block. Cross body. Who gave him steroids? I'm serious. Who gave him ability? There's. I That's not a ability, it's drugs. No, who gave him any bit of wrestling prowess? Because the fact that he did, he can do any of these It's drugs. It's not a feat of steroids. It's drugs. Well, I, mean, I, 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 I refuse to believe steroids. that PS Power has any form of ability. It's drugs. PS Power now hanging Naruto on a tree of wall. These fans are eating him alive right now. Yeah, first they first. Oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey, come on! Oh, only a one count. Thank God, that would have been that would have been highway robbery if PS Power won that way. Naruto would have disappeared for another few months again. I would have disappeared for good. Yeah, they're, they're apparently they're chanting, "You can't wrestle the PS Power." That's because he can't. It's the drugs. It must be on LSD. Oh, there's an elbow there by Naruto. He's on LSD, he's on steroids, he's on... And look at that. Oh, lights on the bridge. But only a one count. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? What's Naruto doing? Uh oh, God. Naruto! To use a monkey shuffle. Naruto! Channeling his inner John Cena with a fine knuckle shuffle to PS Power. Oh, no! The Uzumaki shuffle, you freaking swine. Oh, look at that, the PS Power DDT. Do, 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 do. And then oh, the last no, Naruto DDT. Naruto with one of his own. That's five cents from each of you. Actually, I take that back. That's a million dollars for PS Power. Naruto now. Middle rope. Bulldog. The cover. One, two, and no. It, I'm sorry. Remember, SRH, it's the drugs. It's the drugs. The heart's oh, no. Measuring PS power. Here we go again. Another Rasen God. Should have been the over cover. with the first Rasen God. Two. It's over. Naruto is one. No GT. And it's actually won his very first match in UCWL. Wait, this was his first match. This was his first win. This was his first. This was the first his first win in UCWL, and he just took qualified for the elimination chamber in Act of Valor. But how much trouble PS Power gave him? I'm not surprised this is his first win. Into the elimination chamber and act of power, Naruto Uzumaki. And there you have it, guys. We now know. We now know all six competitors 
for the Elimination Chamber. It's going to be William Wallace, Skeletor, Chef Gordon Ramsay, Mad Max, Levi Ackerman, who returned tonight as well, and now Naruto Uzumaki. One of these six men is going to become the next number one contender for the UCWL Championship. What a match this should be at Act of Valor. And ladies and gentlemen, that is all the time we have for you here tonight. For MTV and Mr. SRH, this is Fox signing off. Good night, everybody. Naruto is back!